Hi, my name is Alex Walford. I'm a solutions engineer for Streamsets, and in this short video, I want to show you how you can tune the Kafka multi topic uh, consumer to get the most bang for your buck. One of the things I wanted to experiment with was the number of partitions, and in order to do this, it was necessary to create topics with different numbers of partitions on Kafka. And I did this using a little Python script that um, basically uh, shells out to the uh, Kafka topics uh, create uh, command and uh, plugs in some variables. So it's um, trying different numbers of partitions and replication factors here. If we pop over to Kafka tool, you can see that we have these topics created. So we have a replication factor of one, one partitions, two partitions, and so on. So we've created um, lots of different topics uh, with different numbers of uh, partitions and replication factors. The next thing I did was to populate those partitions with some sample data. And I did this using a single pipeline, and uh, I created this pipeline using the SDK. The reason I did this is um, because I have about 25 partitions that I want to populate, and uh, well, I didn't want to create uh, the pipeline by hand. It's going to be very repetitive. So I have a list of producers here. I'm iterating over the topics and creating a new producer adding it to this list, and then I'm connecting the data generator to all those producers. So this is what that pipeline looks like. It's a little bit of an eye chart. I have one uh, dev data generator origin going to 25 or so Kafka producers. And each producer is outputting to a different topic. So in this case, you know, we have replication factor one, part one partition, and in this um, next topic, we have replication factor two, um, one partition. The next thing I did was to write a, a Python um, function uh, that runs the benchmark. So it takes in the uh, batch size, replication factor, number of partitions, uh, threads, and the uh, number of seconds to run the benchmark for. Um, it creates a pipeline um, using whatever criteria was fed into it. Um, pushes that um, to data collector, um, runs that pipeline for however many seconds uh, was specified, and then um, sees how many records were processed in that time. There's a little function that persists this to MySQL, and um, here's where I can uh, create these scenarios. So I'm looping over, you know, different um, lists of things to build out these scenarios. And these are being persisted to MySQL. So if we have a quick look at the table here, you can see what the results look like. You know, we have the, the parameters and the outcome here. And, uh, and so here's, here are all the uh, results. We have a, we've run 150 uh, different scenarios. And now we've done that, we can use um, R, because it has some neat uh, plotting functionality, to have a look at the data and see what it tells us. So I imported this data into R here. Um, you can see it's here in a data frame. If we pop back to this script, I ran a quick uh, linear model to take, take a look at uh, the relationship between messages per second, batch size, partitions, and threads. And uh, not really surprisingly, it says they're all very significant. They all make a big difference to the, uh, the throughput. And uh, then I plotted them. There's a lot going on in this plot, so bear with me. On the left-hand side, we have messages per second. That's on this axis. Um, each one of these plots, this is called a facet plot. So we have number of partitions faceted across the top, and batch size going down the side, and the axis on the bottom is the number of threads. So for example, if we take this very first chart here, we've got one partition, we've got a batch size of one, so that's the intersection of these um, two things here, and these are the number of records um, for um, varying numbers of threads from one through six, and you can see that the performance is kind of sucky. Um, so 
One thing that stood out to me is there's an, often an inflection point when the number of partitions equals the number of threads. So what I'm talking about is, is this right here. You can see, look, we've got three threads, three partitions. If we have four threads and three partitions, our throughput actually goes down. We don't get any more um, performance by adding um, the more threads beyond the number of partitions. Uh, often. It's not always the case, but it's a pretty good rule of thumb. Look, you can see it here, 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 um, you know, five, five threads, five partitions. Um, it, it's, uh, it's a pretty good rule of thumb. Um, another thing that really stood out to me, look, batch size of one, the performance is horrible. If you have a batch size of uh, 100, the performance is dramatically better than if you have one, and it doesn't really make a lot of difference for 1,000, 10,000, 100,000, whatever. So the takeaway from this is to match the number of partitions to the number of threads if you want to maximize your performance. And also, Choose a batch size that's greater than one. It doesn't need to be huge, um, but you definitely want a batch size um, that is an order of magnitude or two larger than one. I hope that was helpful. Thanks so much for watching. Cheers.